Hydrogen is not a toxic or corrosive gas. If it escapes from a cylinder, it doesn't pollute either the air, the water or the soil. But it is a fuel. It can catch fire, so we have to be careful, just as we're careful with methane or gasoline. As hydrogen is an extremely light gas, it disperses very quickly. If we are outdoors, it is not too dangerous. But indoors, you need to be very careful, as with most fuels, because if it accumulates, it can explode. Luckily, there are sensors that can detect its presence and warn us. Hydrogen is a versatile element. It can be used to produce other chemical compounds, such as ammonia or gasoline, but also to produce energy. Nowadays, most hydrogen is produced and used directly in the refineries, so it isn't necessary to distribute it. But if we want to use it as fuel, we need to transport it over long distances, through gas pipelines, or in tube trailers, or in tankers. The difficult part is collecting the hydrogen, because it is not very dense. It needs to be compressed at very high pressure to get a good quantity of it into a cylinder. Alternatively, it can be cooled to temperatures well below zero so that it becomes a liquid and so denser. But this is a very expensive process. So liquid hydrogen is only used in particular cases. For example, in the rocket engines of space capsules. Hydrogen can also be trapped in particular substances, metal hydrides, which soak up the hydrogen like a sponge soaks up water. After having produced, distributed and collected the hydrogen, we are finally ready to use it. For a long time, hydrogen mixed with other gases was used for cooking and heating our houses, and it was called town gas. The simplest way to use it is the way we use all the other combustible gases which is to burn it, like we do with methane in our homes or in car engines. There is, however, a more suitable device called fuel cell. It works in the same way as a battery, but it doesn't run down and continues to produce energy as long as it is supplied with hydrogen. It's more efficient than a traditional engine and it doesn't produce pollutants, just water. If it's used in a car, the electricity produced powers an electric engine. This way, the car will be less noisy and will cause a lot less pollution.